currently in the US, there are two COVID-19 vaccines available. One made by Pfizer BioNTech, the other by Moderna. Both of these vaccines are RNA vaccines, messenger RNA, mRNA to be exact. Question is, were these mRNA vaccines developed way too fast? After all, the pandemic started and within 11 months, we have these mRNA vaccines developed. Were they done way too fast? The answer is a hard no, they were not developed way too fast. And why do I say that? Well, I looked into the scientific journals chronologically going all the way back to almost 30 years. So the first article is um, published recently this year in the journal Nature. And I want to give you sort of uh, an understanding of what I'm looking at here. Uh, and let me put this back on my iPad stand so I can actually see you and the article that I'm talking about at the same time. Okay, if we can go to the paragraph of interest, the first two lines, the idea of using RNA in vaccines has been around for nearly three decades. The next article titled, Induction of Virus-Specific Cytotoxic T Lymphocytes in Vivo by Liposome Entrapped mRNA. This was published by a French group of scientists in the year 1993 in European Journal of Immunology. 1993, that's 28 years ago. Now, let me just break down the title a little bit. Cytotoxic T lymphocytes are part of immune system. In vivo means inside animals. Liposome entrapped, think of it as fat entrapped. A ball of fat inside you'll have some mRNA. Okay, so then let's look at the title again. Induction of virus-specific immune system in animals due to mRNA that's trapped inside a ball of fat. What is fascinating is in 1993, 28 years ago, this French group is already talking about how mRNA can induce immune system. Fascinating, incredible. A major milestone was achieved by a group of scientists at Novartis, the biopharmaceutical company, in 2012. And they published their findings in the journal PNAS, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, and the title is non-viral delivery of self-amplifying RNA vaccines. Let me highlight a few lines from that article. Despite more than two decades of R&D on nucleic acid vaccines, that is DNA and RNA vaccines, there is still no commercial product for human use. Now what they developed is a unique vaccine platform that used RNA encapsulated within an LNP. LNP stands for lipid nanoparticles. So the nanoparticle technology and advancement in there also sort of tied into this project. And so their vaccine platform elicited broad, potent and protective immune responses. This was major breakthrough. mRNA vaccines, the concept, ideation to development was not done in the year 2020 in one year matter of fact now you can see that it took about a good 28 years to get to the point where we actually have mrna vaccines available for human use that's the story